People have always preferred this notion of instant gratification. I need something and I need it now. In today's world, the way you order a movie is obviously instant, the way you order music is obviously instant. And related to that, more content is being consumed, not less. The media now are actually the individuals. An increasing number of people share information and share stories of their realities in a far less mediated way than before. We have the freedom, we have the power of choice. So really, the viewer is in control. With that control comes a responsibility. This is why curation is one of the biggest challenges that we are facing. You have like different layers responsible for how information is curated right now. So for instance, what is the role of all algorithms, how information is actually curated by machines through social profiling. Some news organizations think that the future is almost completely algorithmic. I think human judgment is still going to really matter. Consumers have a lot more agency. They're no longer just passive receivers of goods and services and of content. We describe something we call the participation scale. Now at the bottom of that scale is consumption. The next step is sharing other people's content or ideas. Above that is what we call shaping. That's where people take an idea and remix it. The next level is funding, contributing to making a product possible. The next step is producing. At the top of the participation scale is co-ownership. Anyone who claims that digital is dumbing down everything should look at pure digital plays like Netflix and Amazon Prime. Particularly in scripted television, there's more quality today than there's ever been. You need to think about all the different platforms. Vine is very different than Snapchat, than what it is on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter. It's not a battle between one versus the other. 